So we're looking at how we can modify nouns and the first part of this is looking at adjectives and nouns. So different ways of modifying nouns. We have pre-modifiers which can be nouns and adjectives and that's what I'll talk about this time. So we can modify a frog by saying a tree frog or a beautiful tree frog. So tree, noun, beautiful, adjective. We can also post-modify a noun, tree frog with big feet, that's a prepositional phrase, and a relative clause of tree frog that lives in America. And we'll talk about that in the next video. So, how do we identify adjectives? Well, most adjectives can occur attributively, uh, by which we mean they come immediately before a noun, so a big dog but they can also occur predictively after be and other linking verbs like become, seem, etc. So we can say the dog was very ugly, I feel good. They can occur in comparative and superlative forms. They can occur after intensifiers like very, really. And they can occur before ly to form an adverb, amazingly. Now it's important to note that not all adjectives meet these criteria, but they're useful criteria to use to decide whether something is an adjective or not. So, what do adjectives look like? Um, commonly, a lot of adjectives are closely related to nouns and verbs and have suffixes, beauty, beautiful, drink, drinkable, danger, dangerous, talk, talkative, etc. Some adjectives also take um, the form of present participles, ing, or past participles, ed or en. So the film was quite exciting, the rabbit was terrified, I was pleased with the results, that's an interesting point. Note that there's a difference in meaning between she was amazing and she was amazed, and that's something we'll explore later on. Then we have some multi-word adjectives made up of two parts, usually connected with a hyphen. So the second part is often a participle form. So well-behaved children, self-centered idiot, a money-making enterprise, the newly built cinema. And some of these derive from phrasal or multi-word verbs. So in this case, the first part is usually a past participle form. So We've got the phrase verb to wear something out. We could talk about a worn out coat. You bring up your children, a badly brought up child. Comparative and superlative forms. When we want to make comparisons between two nouns, we use comparative form of adjectives. Bill is taller than Ted. And when two, more than two nouns are involved, we can use the superlatives. Mary is the fastest runner in the team, and there are various rules associated with these forms. Another distinction is between gradable and non-gradable adjectives. So gradable adjectives describe qualities we can measure or grade in some ways. So we can say something is quite cold, very cold, extremely cold. And in contrast to this, we have non-gradable adjectives which can express extreme qualities. So instead of cold, we have freezing. It's at an extreme, furious rather than angry, terrified rather than afraid. So absolute qualities like correct, you can't be a little correct or quite correct. You're correct or you're not correct. Similarly with pregnant, you're pregnant or you're not pregnant. Not slightly pregnant. And this is relevant because the intensifying adverbs we use to modify gradable and non-gradable adjectives are different. So we can say very cold, but we don't usually say very freezing. We might say absolutely freezing or another word like that. Okay, uh, deciding whether something is an adjective or a noun when it's pre-modifying another noun. So like adjectives, nouns can pre-modify the head noun in a noun phrase. So leather boots, leather there is a noun, government legislation, government is a noun, taxi driver, taxi is a noun. 
So they look like adjectives, but they don't act like adjectives in other ways. So we can say the driver is happy, that's an adjective, but not the driver is taxi. So that's the predictive form. A happier driver, comparative, OK, but not a taxier driver. A very happy driver. We can intensify happy, but we can't intensify taxi. So there are quite a lot of these noun-noun sequences, and they represent many different meaning relationships. So a beer bottle would be a bottle used for beer. But leather boots are boots made from leather. And a linguistics book is a book about linguistics.